This is Governor Belcher's bedroom. Uh, it's on the second floor on the west side of the house, painted in pretty much the blue that was here when Governor Belcher was here. Uh, in colonial times and earlier, bedrooms were not quite the way we think of them today. They really were combination office, sitting room, reading room, uh, and in the case of many, it would be the dining room as well. And uh, there wasn't quite the privacy issues that we have today. It would be very likely that uh, someone like the governor's slave, Mark, would actually be sleeping here at the foot of the bed or in a trundle bed nearby. Um, so this is, privacy wasn't quite what it is today. So the governor would have spent many, many hours in this room, and we know that he was somewhat sickly at the end of his tenure, and he probably may have never left this room, and he probably died in this room. Um, as I mentioned in the kitchen, the food would be brought up and this cabinet would be opened and the food would be taken and put in dishes that were kept up here. This is, this is very fine china. Uh, it actually is original uh, with the owners of the house. These belong to Catherine Pear Tree Smith and were given to us by her great, great, great granddaughter. Um, the set is uh, composed of Chinese porcelain, German porcelain, French porcelain, and it probably was gilded in England. So that uh, some of the pieces are Chinese, some are French, some are German, and the marks that indicate which they are. So they're not a match set that comes from the same place. They actually come from a number of places. It is, I believe, the family tradition was that she collected these when she was in Europe, and then the common practice would be to pick a pattern and have them gold gilt. The Chinese did not ever gild anything, so uh, this would be probably, certainly not done in China. Uh, the only piece of paint in this house that is absolutely original is the blue fan design, which appears at the top of this cabinet. Uh, that was uh, left untouched, and that is an original piece of uh, painting to the house. On the opposite side, the matching cabinet, however, is not original. That is a essentially a copy of what it might have looked like, probably copying the design on the other. Some of the items in this cabinet, one of them of great interest are these crystal vases, and these were given by the uh, Marquis de Lafayette. It has uh, Catherine Boudinot's uh, monogram carved on it. It is French crystal, and uh, it was uh, a gift to the family of the Marquis de Lafayette, and given to us by a direct descendant. Uh, we have one piece of rock here. This happens to be copper ore, and it's from a mine in Connecticut, and Governor Belcher had a mine in Connecticut, and this is from that mine. Um, in later time, I believe that this uh, had a window going to the west, and the house at a after, the, after Governor Belcher lived here, had an attachment on the west side, similar to the attachment on the east side, which was the kitchen, and that this would have had a window. And so this, this dome arrangement actually was found in the attic. It had not been destroyed, uh, but it had been just stored in the attic, and then it was replaced. You'll notice the, the pole design here. This is would have been attached by a series of uh, bells, and when this was tugged, the bell would ring and Mark would appear if he was not, or any other help. This uh, fireplace, these actually are copies that Mr. Grassman had made 
It would be a, it's a copy of a polychrome Delft tile, but it is not original to the house. Um, the fire back in this fireplace is not original either. It is from the Charles the First period, but it is a reproduction.